Hey all here OS Reviews, today we're taking a quick look at the Mop Free Pixel Cable. This might be just one of the coolest charging cables uh, that I've ever seen. And that's because not only does it charge in sync, but there's a small OLED display integrated onto the cable that can show uh, the charging rate. You can also customize it using the app to even display certain emojis as well as uh, startup animations for different seasons and holidays. Pretty neat idea. Like I said, charging speed, direction of movement, all of these things can be tweaked also seems like a pretty neat gift idea as well. You can even personalize it with someone's name so that if your family all has this cable, for instance, you can easily identify whose cable it is as well as be used to sync data, a smart cable in the sense that it will stop charging when the battery reaches full, show the wattage of your device, and again, the USB Type-C variant can also charge laptops, including MacBooks, so very quick speeds. There's also a Lightning variant as well for iOS and iPad devices, and they claim that it's also really resistant to wear and tear in terms of bends because of the braided texture, so it should last, hopefully, for quite a while. And the cable length, it will actually be six feet, so pretty long as well in terms of of stretching it from the floor to a wall outlet. So the early bird price will be 26 bucks a pop, but that will go up a bit in terms of the full MRSP retail. They're also running a limited time promotion where certain customers can receive a free hard shell carrying case for the cable when you are picking one up. So anyways, let's take a closer look again. This is the Type-C to Type-C variant. Uh, the Lightning Edition, by the way, has a max charging speed of 20 watts, so it's not quite as fast, but considering that version you're only using pretty much for iPhones these days, it doesn't really need anything more powerful. But like I said, if you're trying to charge laptops or Android devices, you should pick the Type-C variant and you get a little bit faster charging rate. So the body here is actually constructed out of a zinc alloy, so it's made out of metal, feels quite durable, a very nice fit and finish. And then as aforementioned, the entire kind of cable itself is braided in this fabric material, which makes it a bit more resistant to wear and tear. Plugging it into just a power bank, we can actually start to see the boot up animation, which in this particular cable has been set to say OS reviews, which will stop flashing once we actually plug it into something. Right now it's just in the kind of low power mode, and it will just blink once or twice. But once we kind of start to charge our device, you'll see it becomes a uh, stable. Uh, the actual display itself, again, it's black and white monochrome. It's not a color display, but overall makes sense, and it's still very easy to read and see. Uh, right now, after it times out, it will show the charging rate in terms of wattage that's draining, as well as whether it's in the quick charging mode, as you can see there. So pretty cool that you have that ability to gauge this information from this display, which makes sense. It's practical. Not only is it just for fun and show. It is worth mentioning though that this is not a touch screen, so it's not going to be interactive with your fingers. Everything you have to set up using the companion app in terms of animations if you want to change between those. And it is slightly curved in terms of the plastic covering up the display, so uh, it just offers a slightly interesting look to it. So it almost kind of bubbles over if you're looking at it from different angles. So the app here called Q Charger, we can pop it in. What is a little strange though, is for it to actually connect to the app, it seems to be using Bluetooth. So you have to turn on Bluetooth and location services on your phone. But regardless, with that turned on, it will instantly start to show the correct data, such as right now we have 39% in terms of our battery, and it's currently charging itself up. And with the app turned on, you can see it start to animate and go through a few other transition effects here. This is just to prevent any screen burn-in. Anyways, we can also take a look at things like alerts. So this will actually give us a buzz and vibration if our app is opened up when we have reached 100% full charge to remind us to unplug, as well as tell us when our charge has been interrupted. If someone else has accidentally unplugged our phone, uh, you will also get a notification. And you can see that right now we have also changed the animation to match the style on the app, uh, which is pretty cool. And finally, we can also change now things like the startup animations. So here are some presets that we can try out, like this microphone icon. If I click on this icon, for instance, you can see it start to transfer over there onto the bottom cable. I can also change the position to make it move and scroll over there to the left or vice versa, scroll over to the right. Here is a Halloween theme that we can see the pumpkins just jump across the screen there. And also things like this car, which is a bit more cartoony, can also be added. So overall, those are some of the kind of presets. There's also the ability for you to try out more complex kind of mosaic patterns. This will give us a better idea of the full size of the display underneath and overall 
how it looks. And then the final tab over here is allowing you to enter your own text. So what we tried previously was OS reviews, but I can also type in something else instead, like hello world, take a look at how that will render, and it will display this text as it is coming along here. So if you have the scrolling disabled, it will try to cram everything, and because of the smaller width of the screen, some letters might be cut off into the second row. So keep that in mind. But if you are in the ticker scrolling mode, you can actually type in more characters. Last but not least, you're also able to change the display orientation. So I can flip this uh, to now display content in this uh, vertical kind of portrait mode, and you can see that it also is working as expected. In terms of the graphics that you have access to, again, these are just presets. So I can also choose other photos for my own album, but keep in mind that this is gonna be a pretty small display and it's black and white. So it, the contrast is gonna look a little funky, but if you have larger kind of simpler images, uh, you can still try it out. You can pinch in and pinch out to see how it will look. This is an image of flowers. And if I'm satisfied, I'll tap on okay. And now it will send that uh, picture over as you can see there. Let's actually fix it into place place to get just a better view. And it's really no surprise as far as the charging and data sync is concerned, just like any other USB Type-C cable, it's working exactly as advertised. Again, supporting up to 100 watts. So most phones will get fully charged in around an hour or two, depending on your device. Uh, the cable is certainly not the limiting factor here, as long as you have a fast enough charger that you're connected to. And same thing goes with data sync. It's USB 2.0 speeds. So that's one area where maybe they can upgrade to USB 3.0 to allow faster data transmission. But aside from that, overall, again, the entire transition effects, all of the charging indication, everything does work exactly as expected. In terms of the connection, everything is quite stiff. And again, it is fully reversible as well. So if I actually turn it around, uh, the same process will continue. But in this particular case, the display is on the other side. So that's going to be a little awkward unless you are setting your phone down. But in that case, you can still make out the display as well. And since it is just a Type-C to Type-C cable, you can use it to charge laptops as well. It will be fully functional. The only thing to keep in mind, though, is if you are charging a MacBook or laptop using this cable, you don't get access to that companion app. So in terms of the screen that it's on, it's going to save the last image that you push over from the smartphone app. But again, we are able to charge your device, and we still have the ability to take a look at the charging speed and power rating. So that's more or less it as far as our quick hands-on review of the Pixel Cable. At the end of the day, it's still a pretty simple product, uh, just a USB cable, but it just makes it more fun through the use of the OLED display, which is customizable. And I have to say, it's a really neat idea. So you can learn more details in the links below. But for now, that's been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews.